Wow, it's gonna take a while to clean up that mess. Oh. Ah. Where am I? Who am I? Siri, who am I? Pick your favorite corgis and we'll tell you exactly who you are on BuzzFeed.com. What is going on guys, Will here. Welcome to the video. It's another rainy looking day here in Toronto. It's literally been every single day lately. So just getting the steps in early right now. But haven't we all fallen down the rabbit hole of BuzzFeed quizzes? They offer tons of valuable and insightful information like which Disney princess are you to who is your celebrity crush? Mine was apparently Taylor Lautner, although I am much more of a Team Edward fan. These geese are getting too close for comfort right now. But uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be letting BuzzFeed quizzes decide everything that I do for the entire day, from what I eat to the activities I do. So I'll actually link all of the quizzes I'm gonna be doing in the description so you guys can play along. Okay guys, so the first thing that we gotta figure out today is the coffee situation. So the first quiz we are gonna do is everyone has a coffee drink that matches their personality. So I gotta describe my college routine and they're gonna guess my coffee drink. I don't know how that kind of correlates. So let's get into it. First question, what time do you like to wake up during the week? I'm usually up by 7.58, out of bed by 8 a.m. So let's go with that one. What do you do after your first class? Have a little snack, although it does taste a lot more like pineapple. So that one. What's your favorite study space? So it used to be the library, but after a few incidences of being too slow switching tabs, I'm gonna go to dorm room, which is my safe haven now. Uh, where do you stream your music from? The only way, Spotify. Uh, what study style do you use more? I'm definitely a visual learner, mind mapping. Aside from coffee, what is your other favorite drink? Gotta go with kombucha, gotta chase whatever buzz I can get. And then, what are you eating for lunch? Okay, tacos, burgers, fries, burrito. Gotta go with the tacos, that braised beef looks really good right now. And what time is your last class? 11 p.m., my longest and hardest one of the day. Definitely. Uh, finally, what do you like to drink your coffee with? Just give me the coffee. Don't try to sabotage me with other pastries and stuff. So just give me coffee. We got a vanilla blonde latte, which is actually pretty good. Cause last time we did this, we did the Google images video and I had f three drinks, three drinks and they're all cold. So I just take out one and it's hot. Hi, can I get a grande uh, vanilla latte with oat milk, please? Grande vanilla latte with oat milk? Yeah, and can yeah. I do uh, the sugar-free vanilla? You wanna put the sugar-free vanilla? Yeah. yeah. And then can I do half the amount of vanilla? I'll take care of the rest. It's gonna be six fifty. Okay, thank you. Six fifty for a drink? So we got our grande vanilla latte, oat base, two pumps, sugar-free vanilla. It was six fifty. Six fifty. Is it like how long does it take to milk an oat? The the labor must be insane on this thing. And I've never had one of these before. Oh, that's nice. Something about a latte just makes me feel safe. It's very comforting. So while I finish my latte, we're gonna figure out what are we doing for breakfast? So everyone has a breakfast food that matches their personality. Which one is yours? So apparently you have a coffee that matches your personality and a breakfast. So the first question, pick a breakfast photo. So that second one looks like a, a thirst trap for basic girls. That, that French toast does not look anabolic, so I cannot go with that. That avocado toast looks pretty good, so we'll go with that one. Pick a lunch photo. Definitely staying away from the hot dogs. Get some chilling flashbacks from, just from looking at that. Uh, gonna take probably one of my favorite things that are white in its purest form, which is cauliflower. Uh, pick a snack photo. Let's go with some popcorn there. Pick a dinner photo. Gotta go with the noodles. I'll never turn down a good noodle. Pick a dessert photo. Gotta go with the donut, guys. It's not filled, unfortunately, but where you guys see a flaw, I see opportunity. And then pick a brunch photo. Again, gotta go with the avocado toast. That drippage is the visual learning I was talking about earlier. With that, and then pick a drink photo. So it's 2021, so it seems like the right thing to do is to pick, you know, the multicolored smoothie. But you know, I gotta go with the vanilla latte there. And then, and and finally, pick a junk food photo. It's always pizza, and there's even pineapple on it. Cereal. I thought I was gonna get for sure pancakes, but we got cereal again on this channel. Okay. Okay, so we're in the cereal aisle and there's obviously an overwhelming amount of choices. So I'm gonna try something new that I haven't tried before to keep things interesting for you all. And I saw these. Because I felt bad for going to Starbucks, so we're gonna get the Timbits birthday cake flavored cereal. Super excited to try it, let's go. 
So it seems like you can birthday cakeify pretty much anything these days. I'm not a big birthday cake man, although cake batter ice cream, it slaps. So these kind of look like corn pops that are ready for a music festival with a little bit of sprinkles on it. And you know, I feel like people think that sprinkles on something make things enticing, but there's a big difference between being enticing and good. And I'm all about good. I don't really care about the look of it. I care about the taste of it. Interestingly enough, it does taste slightly like birthday cake. A very stale birthday cake. It seems like a birthday cake that you found from a long time ago. I don't really wanna know how old the person was for this birthday cake. It's pretty crazy. I don't usually eat cereal because it's not very filling at all. So this is 260 calories, I think, roughly for the entire bowl because you got two servings in here. And I'm gonna be wanting to eat something right after that. I mean, cereal is great if you wanna stay hungry. Okay, so that was breakfast. That was aggressively hard. Hopefully I didn't crack that. But overall, out of 10, I wanna give this like a five out of 10. Definitely one for the kids. It'll excite them with all the colors, but it's not just not for me. So now we're gonna go figure out what we're gonna go do for a workout. Hopefully I can actually work out today because I really want to get in and do a workout. So now it's time to figure out our workout. So I got my headphones in, ready to go. The sugar in that cereal is making me feel fired up to lift some weights. And the quiz we are doing is plan your dream vacation and we'll guess your favorite workout. So we're gonna do that right now. First question is, where are we headed? So, I mean, that camel looks like a nice ride, but that cabin in the woods, my dad could be there, but that camel intrigues me. The camel, who's coming with you? Mm, my BFF. How are you getting there? So although lockdown hasn't stopped me from getting high and any seven hour rides, it just can't beat a plane, so what the plane. Where are you staying? I am a sucker for a hotel with some robes and room service, so we'll go with that one. Uh, did you make an itinerary? Uh, I have some things planned. Yeah, I got some things planned, but I've never adverse to any sort of sudden surprises. There we go. When are you officially on vacation? When I am at the hotel and have unpacked, for sure. How are you gonna recharge? Hmm, nope, nope. Definitely take a nice hike outside, not followed by a book, we'll go with that one. And how are you gonna eat? So I love to eat local and their cuisine, so we'll go with that one. And what's the main thing you wanna do on your trip? Experience culture, relax, just wanna be, experience culture, love museums. Uh, what's a worst case scenario for you? Getting lost, that's, that's actually, getting lost is the, one of the funnest things you could do on vacation. Um, touristy spots, nope. I'd say bad weather for sure. Getting stuck in the hotel would suck. And finally, what souvenir are you taking home? I'd say something unique, I'm assuming penicillin can cure it, so we'll go with that one. We're doing yoga. Cereal, yoga, vanilla latte, this is how this day is gonna go. I feel like for like lunch, I'm gonna get like a, a mixed green salad. Okay, that was the yoga workout. It was actually very nice. And I was snapping and stretching. It was really, really good. I think everyone who lifts weights should do something like this, but it definitely didn't get my, you know, that survival response I need for my muscles to actually grow. So I think I'm gonna have to try that quiz again, but now we're gonna go figure out some lunch. Look how horrible this weather is. Rain and quarantine is probably the most depressing combination of all time, but we gotta figure out what we are doing for lunch right now. So the quiz we are doing is what should you actually eat for lunch. So which of these seem the most appealing? So definitely I'd say the burrito has the most amount of meat to satisfy me. Yep. Uh, what are you in the mood for? I mean, just like a rock star on tour, I'm in the mood for a lot of things, but at this point in time, definitely food because the cereal did not fill me up. Could you resort to eating human flesh if you had to for survival? Um, well, I wouldn't enjoy it, but sometimes you gotta do things for other people, guys. Could go with that one. How important is eating a nutritious meal? I mean, because I'm, I'm in the fitness industry, major priority. Pick a l lunch love song. Dream lunch, I'll make lunch to you, why not? 
Pick a talking food. Definitely that peanuts, the freshest looking nut on the block. Yeah. Describe your current emotional state. Definitely on edge. Uh, what's your eating style? Depends on what room in the house. But uh, for the kitchen, I would say food murder. I thought vacuum was a really good technique, but my tongue can't sense thoughts. So learned that the hard way. Uh, how do you want your lunch to make you feel? I would say I want to feel safe. Just like that latte, I want to feel safe when I eat. And what's your favorite food group? You gotta go with the meat. A burrito, okay, I'm down with that. I mean, the cereal was very, very not satisfying, very just nothing monumental. Burrito, we can really do that up and make it pretty big. So I'm looking at how I wanna get my burrito made. So I know what meat, I know, this, I know like the fillings, and now I'm looking at the sauce. And you guys know I can handle spicy food. I think I'm gonna get the lava scorpion and see what that's about. Give me the hot one. The hot I, can one? I think I can handle it. Okay. I'm gonna put that on. Okay. That's good. All right. Oh, yeah. So this place is like if you injected Chipotle with a nice needle of Tren, like this thing is massive. Like I, I don't even know if I can get it down due to the sheer girth of this thing. So, I mean, this looks like it's like a two person job, but I am down for the challenge and I am down with the thickness. It's really good, you know, never anything in my life has met my expectations, but this burrito is making me emotional right now. Take a look at that, wow. In this burrito, it's just a whole lot of veggies, no cheese and no rice. So I used to have a trade-off. So if you're gonna get a burrito, I wouldn't recommend getting rice because there's a lot of carbs in the tortilla. But if I was gonna get a bowl, I would get some rice. So you just gotta pick and choose kind of what's important to you in that meal. <sighs> it won't go away. I, I, I actually feel like a deep throat is Satan. It hurts so much going down, I can't even imagine coming out. Okay guys, so I ended up finding another workout quiz and there's only one question. It said, based on your mood will dictate what workout you should do. So I selected angry and was about to lose my shit. And they said, yo, you should lift some weights and get a pump going. So we are about to do a dumbbell only leg workout. You guys seem to really like my upper body dumbbell only workout. So we're gonna do something like that in the basement with my adjustable dumbbells. But after that burrito, I feel so tired, like that was, Massive. I have to say that was like at least a thousand calories. It was literally the size of a baby. So we, obviously we need some pre-workout PPK 10 10 for 10% off. Gonna go with a nice heap scoop of that. Uh, drink it for a little bit and then we're gonna get into our workout. Okay, so the first movement we are gonna do is the Dumbbell Bulgarian Split Squat. We're gonna go 15, 12, 10, and eight. So it's really good for the vastus medialis, your glutes and your hamstrings. So we're gonna increase the weight each set and then also it drop the reps. So the reason why I like to uh, gradually increase the weight is because I have a bad knee, so I like to kind of warm up my knee for like the really heavy, heavy set at the end. Because if I find if I go heavy right away, it just really, really hurts. This exercise wins you, so be ready. Oh. Okay, so we've done 15, 12, 10. Now we have 90 pounds per side. We're gonna go for eight reps. This is a big set here. Okay, so we're gonna rest up for around like three minutes and then hop into four sets of pulse squats. The reason why I'm doing a pulse squat is because the 90 pound dumbbells are not that much. So by adding the pulse, it gives you a little more time under tension, makes the weight just a little bit harder. So you're gonna come down, quarter of the way up, back down, up, that's one. Let me make you Ooh, okay, the quads are on fire right now. So now it's time to address the hamstring. So the main compound movement of the day is gonna be the dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Okay, 
Okay, so the next thing we are gonna do is a dumbbell sumo squat superset with some up-downs for 30 seconds. So the first thing we're gonna do is the sumo squat, eight to 10 reps. We're gonna go wide stance, toes pointing out. We're gonna go up, squeeze, down, two, eight to 10. Then we're gonna come here to the side and we're gonna do some up-downs. You're gonna stay low. You're gonna be up, down, up, down. Like that for 30 seconds, three sets. And repeat. The sumo squats get you, and then you gotta embrace it for an additional 30 seconds. Brutal. <laughs> if only 30 seconds felt that long elsewhere. So that's gonna wrap up the main portion of the leg workout, and now we're just gonna finish off with the beloved calves. All right, so the last movement we're gonna do is the seated cab raise, three sets to absolute failure, and that is the workout. <sighs> All right, guys, well that is Gonna wrap up the workout, gonna head upstairs and shower, and then we're gonna do another quiz and see what's in store for us for dinner. Okay, so we're out of the shower and now it's time to figure out what are we having for dinner. So I found a quiz that says, we know what you should eat for dinner tonight based on the vacation you plan. So I don't know how the vacation I plan correlates what I should be having for dinner tonight. I wonder what the basis of these quizzes are. So the first qu uh, question, pick a setting, beach, city, mountains, cruise. Mom, which one? Cruise? Beach. Beach? I'm going cruise. Okay. okay. Pick an activity. Parasailing, swimming, nightclub, comedy show. My nightclub days are over. Let's go to the comedy show. <laughs> hey, I went out. Occasionally. Uh, wine, cocktail, water, or milk? I'm gonna go with milk. I love a nice tall glass of milk. Pick a vacation. That dog is a vibe. What about that one? Pick a vacation mood. That girl is very serene and in peace. We'll go with that one. Pick a tourism attraction. Um, hmm, those are all pretty good ones. I'm gonna have to go with Big Ben, London. Steak. Uh, so I wanted to get something where I could kind of order in food or something that I actually had at the house so I don't have to go out. But now I guess we have to go to the store and uh, pick up a piece of steak. The meat has been acquired. So, you know, it's not an anniversary. It's not a special occasion. So we're not gonna get a Wagyu, a bone-in porterhouse, anything like that. It's just a weeknight. So we're gonna go simple with a nice sirloin steak. Take a look at that. Beautiful, nice marbling. I've been turned on just looking at it. So we let it sit out for 30 minutes before we cook it. So it's nice at room temperature the whole entire way through. Open it up. It's been preheating. Get ready for the sizzle, everybody. And we're gonna let it cook for two minutes. And now we're gonna give her a little cross hatch, just there. Turn it like 45 degrees. There we go. You can play X's and O's on this bad boy. Once you flip it over, just watch. We're gonna let that cook for an additional two minutes and we're gonna flip it over and the exact same thing. So in total for medium rare, around eight minutes. All right, so it's been eight minutes. So let's see if our steak is done. So how do you know it's done? Great question, you gotta give it a little love tap. Because if it receives the, the tongs a bit, you know you're at around medium rare. Give it a little shake, gives you a little jiggle in return. Perfect. So you don't want to cut it open because it loses all the juices. So we're gonna put it onto the plate. We're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and then it is perfect. All right, so let's give it a little cut and see how I did here. Guys, come on. That is medium rare. Do not even question me. Perfectly cooked, delicious, nutritious. Man, I don't think I could think of a more masculine meal than literally just steak on a plate besides, you know, taking this down all in one go. And I'd like to say this is my biggest serving of meat for the night, but the night is still young. That caramelized fat. If I choose steak, it is usually like a strip loin or, you know, a sirloin, something of that nature. Definitely not something like a ribeye or like a wagyu steak because that's so much fat. You're looking at thousands of calories for a decent size. So this is like right around 12 ounces of steak. 
All right, guys, so I just did a dessert quiz and then I got a vegan brownie as my result, which is perfect because I know a sick 60 second microwave brownie recipe that is also vegan. So in the bowl right now, I have two tablespoons of some oat flour, which is just pretty much two tablespoons of blended oatmeal into a powdered form. And now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa to the mix. Two, there we go. And now we're gonna add two tablespoons of some applesauce. One, two, and then we're going with two tablespoons of some cashew milk and then one tablespoon sweetener of your choice. So I'm going with some all natural honey, none of that chemical stuff today. So just one tablespoon of that, which is only 60 calories. On top, we're gonna to add one tablespoon, 15 grams of these sugar-free chocolate chips, only 50 calories, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And there you go. So that is the brownie. I'm gonna pop it into the microwave for 60 seconds and it's good to go. For just around 200 calories, you cannot go wrong with this bad boy. It's definitely gonna curb that chocolate craving that you desire. You know, it's it does taste on the bit on the healthier side, but it, you can't go wrong, and just like me, it's done in 60 seconds. So, that was the day of BuzzFeed quizzes. Overall, I can't complain. Every single thing that I got, I enjoyed. Nothing out of the ordinary, which I wouldn't think because BuzzFeed's, you know, appeals to the masses. So, if you guys try it, let me know what you guys get. If you guys have fun, try it out. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.